What's up, Pops? My name is Jason, and today we're going to be opening up a 151 Elite Trainer Box. Let's get into it. How's it going, everybody? I hope you guys are all having a great day today. If not, I hope this video can help cheer you up just a little bit. Today, we got a Elite Trainer Box of... 151. Now, this set just came out last Friday. I am opening up an Elite Trainer Box today. We will do some booster bundles. I will do all the other ones as well. I have opened up the poster bundle, I think it was, last week. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. But I'm actually really excited and a little disappointed in um, the Elite Trainer Box of 151. And I'll, I'll tell you why. So this is the first subset we got for Scarlet and Violet. Um, normally subsets are different. They don't have booster boxes. They have elite trainer boxes. They got uh, other little products like promo packs, things like that. We, you know, with Crown Zenith, we had the Zacian um, V, Zamazenta V Ultra Pack. We had uh, the Tins and things like that. We'll get that for Scarlet and Violet. Um, but the elite trainer boxes for Crown Zenith are a lot better because they always come with a promo card for these subsets. And this one has it too. But the downside is a pack is taken away from us. And I'm going to see what it got replaced with. So this is the promo we get. It's a beautiful promo. I love the Snorlax with the PG on his belly. I think that's beautiful. But in an attempt to, you know, I guess keep it the same throughout. Normally, Elite Trainer Boxes have 8 packs for main sets, and then they had 10 packs for subsets. This generation, I think every Elite Trainer Box is going to get 9 packs, and that's what we have here. So subset, we only get 9 packs, which makes me think the Elite Trainer Box isn't the best route to go. Um, we get one full art promo card, which of course is the Snorlax. Uh, we have the 65 card sleeves, we get that normally. Uh, 45 energy cards, we get that normally in every uh, Elite Trainer Box. You get a Player's Guide, which you get that normally. Uh, damage Counter Dice, that's the same. Uh, legal Coin Flip, so we get a coin in there, which I don't see on here. What's the coin? Okay, oh, it's Coin Flip Die. That's what this is. Okay, so it's not an actual coin. I was thinking, huh. We get the condition markers, we get that in every box, we get the collector's box to hold everything, and a code card. So, yeah. It's just a regular Elite Trainer box. And um, we lose one pack, pretty much. And the price is higher. I don't know how I feel about this subset anymore. Um, booster bundles are out, they're new for uh, the subset, so maybe that's the best route to go. Um, we'll open some up soon, and I'll see how much a full was it box cost? I think it's 10 boxes and one main box. But yeah, enough chit chatter. Before we get started, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit the dislike button if you don't. Let me know down below. Are you going to be buying some Elite Trainer Boxes? Do you think it's worth paying for the Elite Trainer Box? Uh, retail wise, this is like $50. Uh, and you might find this like for $60 on the secondary market. Maybe more depending on how much demand there is. Which is quite a bit. But... Yeah, let me know how you feel. So without further ado, let's get into this box. At 151, um, I'm excited about it. Also feels a bit boring. Uh, I really want them to go into generation two. I kind of like, you know, we, we've had evolutions, which is pretty much 151. Um, but yeah, we haven't done anything for Johto or Hoenn. Or anything like that. It's either Kanto or a mixture. So let's see. The Pokemon. I haven't seen any of the base cards, but I want to see. Yes. The main card I really want. Of course, there's the Charizard, but I want this Pikachu card. And the main reason is because there's a little Growlithe right there, and Growlithe is one of my favorite Pokemon. But other than that, I'm going to go in pretty blind. I mean,. I say pretty blind. The Zapdos is cool. Giovanni's Charisma. That is a beautiful card. I want that so much. That will be a nice card to pull. And uh, yeah. So this is the player's guide. It's part of it. You get that in every Elite Trainer box. It feels like paper. It doesn't even feel glossy. I don't like how that feels. Alright. So let's see what we got here. This is everything you see. Boom. Nothing in the box. So let's take it 
out. Alright, we're good there. Toss that. We have our packs. Let's check out our promo. And... Looks nice. I like it. I don't think I'll go too heavy on the Elite Trainer Boxes. For Obsidian Flames, I loved it because of the Charmander promo. This one, I, I like it. Not too bad. Let's check out the sleeves. And the sleeves look like... We got Fruity Pebbles. Nice. Here are the card dividers. <laughs> Actually, these just look like sprinkles on top of white frosting cupcakes. Alright. And then let's see the dice. I mean, it's cool. Again, I, I, I feel disappointed that they didn't increase the packs for a subset. We don't have a booster box, but you still lower the pack for this subset which i mean 10 packs it's really nothing you just add an extra pack do it like you did in the past all right but let's see maybe we got an error box we got one two three four five six seven eight nine not an error box we have everything here all right so let's get to ripping see if we can pull i mean the big one is the charizard that is the biggest card um but i'll be happy with pikachu i'll be happy with the Mewtwo is nice too. And what's another good one? Well, Giovanni's Charisma, of course. But let's see. Oh, and some of the energy cards. Those would be cool too. We start with the Tangela. We've got a Grimer. Psyduck. Ekans. Nidorina. Raticate. Oops. Magneton. Nidoran. Victory Bell. Is that a reverse? That is a reverse. R Nidoran is a reverse. Okay. Victory Bell and a Hollow Gengar. Now, they don't have any of the Pokeballs or Master Ball that they did for Japan. So, um, this was one of the more expensive cards in Japanese, which is crazy. And that's really cool artwork. But we got a Gengar, Grass Energy, and there's the code. Boom. All right. So, I put this over here. Let's see what we get in the next pack. I really got to clean up my desk. I have nothing but cards all over the place. I gotta start cleaning them up. It's getting out of hand. Alright. Ooh. There we go. We got Growlithe. That's a sick Judy. Really nice artwork there. Jigglypuff. Staryu. Primate. Fero. Onyx. It's looking very smooth. We got a Clefairy Reverse and War Turtle Reverse. I like that. And we got a Hollow Weezing. Okay, and a water energy, and then we go boom, code. Move this down here. Right, let's get into the next pack, pack number three. Also, it's only one box, but so it's a little sample of maybe what you can expect in Elite Trainer Boxes. Um, normally, my, my luck for regular Elite Trainer Boxes is really good. I like that Vulpix artwork. They always do good artwork for Vulpix and Ninetales. Let's see what Ninetales looks like. Got a Caterpie. Magnemite in the back rooms. Okay. Erica's invitation. And you put a basic Pokemon you find on there onto the bench. If the Pokemon is onto the bench in this way, switch that put one into the very good card. Needle Queen. Victory Bell. Butterfree. I like that one. And we got a Bell Sprout with Oh, we got it. Is that a full art? That is a textured 188 to 165. We got a Psychic Alakazam. Nice! I'll take an Alakazam Full Art. That's a good one there. I like that. Alakazam Full Art. Hey! And we got a Hollow Energy. This has got a triple swirl here. No, just two. Right on top of it. We got one there and one there. Very nice. Nice little pack there. Alright, we'll set you up there. And then let's just do a quick boom. And we'll toss you there. Nice little start. Ooh, that shines bright. Do I have to turn it like that? Yeah, there we go. Get that glare off. All right, you guys go there. And let's see, we got impact number four. All right, Bulbasaur. Growl. We only got one Growlithe artwork, right? Yeah. Okay. Just that's a nice artwork. I like that. There's Geodude again. Jigglypuff. Cloyster, there we go, changing it up. Grabber. 
Kingler. Oddish Reverse. Nothing there. It's a Voltorb. And a Machamp Hollow with a Fire Energy. Code. Alright, put you there. Pack number five. Halfway there. Alright, yeah, I'm just a little disappointed on how they're doing um, the Elite Trainer boxes for subsets. Yeah, I wish they would have done it a little bit better. Oh, that's nice artwork. I haven't seen that. That looks crazy. That looks really cool. I like that. Parasect, beautiful. Giovanni's Charisma. Let's see what we got in the next one. Snorlax and a Sand Slash with... Okay, that looks like a Charizard. Or maybe it's a Fighting type. It's a Fighting type. Who's a Fighting type in here? I don't know. Golem! I forgot you're a fighting type. That looked like a fire. I thought it was going to be Charizard. I was like, all right, Charizard. Nice. But we got a Golem. With a basic energy. So we'll put Golem right there. There's the code. Toss. And boom. All right. So three hits. Or I'll say two hits. So we'll count the energy as a reverse. It's a semi-hit, I guess. We have two and a half hits. Next pack. Staryu, Drowsy, Bulbasaur, Slowpoke, love that arc, really nice there, I like that, Chilling in the Sun, Energy Stickers, Right On, Exeggutor, Weeping Bell, can we get a Trainer Gallery, or Trainer Gallery, Illustration Rare, we cannot, we got a Clefable instead, and a Chansey, I like that artwork, just getting a little chancy. Nice. Okay. I'll take that. Code. Boom. I think this should be an easy set to complete as well. Um, I want to say maybe give it like three weeks and prices should drop considerably. I don't think the Charizard will last at $100. I mean, just look at the City and Flames Charizard. I think you could buy that card for like $60 now. That set I have completed and I will show you in a video of the completed master set but yeah this one should be easier to complete too I don't think there's that many all right tentacle rattata cloister grabber <clears throat> and a kingler we got a jolteon nice I like that do we have an illustration no we got a manky and an articuno okay and lightning energy. All right, so far, the trainer boxes are showing me that they're not too good of a buy. All right, let's get into the next one. We'll do number eight, and then we have the last pack at nine. Now we start with Growlithe. That could be a good sign. Come on, Growlithe. Mud chop. That's a nice artwork there. I like that one. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Rigid Band. Graveler. Nice. Protective goggles. And we got a gold bat. Do we have... Ooh, here we go. 198 of 165. If it's grass, that looks like a Venusaur right there. And it is a Venusaur. That is a nice one. Okay. All right. I see you, Elite Trader Box. Nice! We got a Venusaur EX SAR. Beautiful card. I like this one a lot. That is a nice one. Nothing behind that, but that is a beautiful card. We'll put you right there. We got an Electrode Hollow to go with it. Hey, and a Water Energy. I think there's three swirls on here. We got, let's see. Got one there, one here. We got half of one right there. Only two and a half. Okay. That is nice though. Water energy. Alright, we'll do the code. Boom. I'll put you right there. Alright, that's a good pack. So, it looks like the same as a regular Elite Trainer box. You get a full art. You get or you get your regular EX, the double rares. You have an full art, and then you have an illustration rare. So 
Normally that's what I've been getting in my Elite Trainer boxes. Sometimes I have bad ones, but on average, that's what I've been getting. All right, so final pack. Got a nice looking Squirtle right there. Licking Tongue. Why'd I say it like that? Licky Tongue, saying every letter. Uh, Venonat, Pidgey, right on. We got Energy Sticker, Executor, Reverse Farfetch. Come on, let's get another one. And we do 180 of 165. Is that Mewtwo? No, that is Water. War Turtle? Almanite, all right. I didn't even know he had one. So we got Almanite here, beautiful card. Do we have something behind it? We do not. It is a hollow of a Marowak. So not bad. All in all, pretty, pretty good box. It was looking pretty down for a while, but and, and Lead Trainer Box came through and showed me that you could get some good hits. So we'll go do a quick recap. We got an Illustration Rare of Almanite. We have a Double Rare of Golem EX. We got an Ultra Rare of Alakazam EX. We got an SAR, probably our best hit, the Venusaur EX. Beautiful card. And then we have our two nice looking energies here. We have the Lightning Energy and the Water Energy. Beautiful. Actually, not bad. Maybe I'll consider buying some more of the Elite Trainer Boxes, but if they're going for $50, and if the Booster Bundles are going for roughly about maybe 20 I think it was like $28, $30, I think buying two Booster Bundles, getting the three extra packs... Is better than buying the Elite Trainer box. Only if you want those card sleeves and the promo card, maybe just get it once and that's about it. But that's gonna be it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to catch more, and until next time, Power Ups, I'll see you. Wait, have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.